All right, guys, so I want to show you the little uh, cabinet I built for my Ortor Laser Master 2. I was using this thing just on this block of wood right here, and I have some lines I made down there. But the smoke was getting really bad, so I bought this fan uh, on Amazon. I think it was about $20. And then I built this cabinet, which is certainly no work of uh, woodworking art. It is it's pretty crude. See, I got a little break right there. But anyway, it works. I'll give you the, I'll give you all the measurements uh, in the description. Uh, it's very basic. This is just some wood I had laying around. Um, one thing that I'm sure you probably know about the laser, if not, it's very important, is that it'll harm your eyes. So you gotta have uh, some kind of a shielding. You can use glasses, or you can actually buy um, some plastic shielding. So I bought this. I forget even the company. It's been a couple months now. I just haven't gotten around to finishing this build. Uh, but I bought this plastic, and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be building a top cover for this out of wood, and then I'm gonna I, I may put hinges on this, uh, so that way it, it hinges you know, up and down without having to just pick it up. Uh, I don't know if I'll get that far or not. I may just set it on top and lift it up as I use it. Uh, and then what I have here with the fan is I have this coming up and out and out of my window. So what I also need to do is I also need to build a piece of wood that's gonna go across my window. As you can see right now, there's a big old gap which lets all my uh, nice cool air conditioning out which I'm not running at the moment. Uh, thankfully, it's not that hot. So I'm gonna build a piece of wood there that'll hold in the, uh, this is a dryer vent, so it's gonna hold that in there. I'm gonna have to cut a circle in it, and then I'll, I'll insulate it. That way I can just leave it there all, all, uh, all summer and winter. And then uh, the other thing I gotta do is, right now I have the stand core just draping up over top. I gotta actually make this hole bigger. I tried to drill it out and it was unsuccessful. My bit's not big enough, so I'm gonna have to use probably a jigsaw uh, to cut that bigger. So let's get to work. So I opted to use a table saw to cut this, however I ended up only really using it for this one cut and later as you'll see I have to go to Walmart and get a jigsaw. This could be done with a circular saw, a jigsaw, or of course a table saw. So I'm cutting this down to the length of my laser cabinet and then the width actually is already uh, good to go because that's the same width that I used when I uh, built the cabinet to begin with. So here I am reluctantly going out to Walmart, grabbed the jigsaw, I ended up the electric version, just simply I didn't want to have to buy the battery operated version from Walmart because I didn't know if I was going to use this more than this one time, but we'll see. First I drilled the hole with a 3 quarter inch bit, which turned out to be very dull, but you could really use any bit just about uh, just big enough to get the jigsaw blade inside. I was happy to see that with this jigsaw they had a quick release on the blade so it was very easy to pop in. can't unfortunately see it on the camera but it is just a little turn piece that you turn up there you can see it pop the blade in there plug it in and you are good to go. So I was pretty happy with that. As you'll see, the blade is not the best and I was a little bit slow, slow going. And you can see I'm a very inexperienced woodworker. I ended up making a lot of measurements unnecessarily. So I just ended up cutting out a smaller hole than I was gonna need because I wanted to make sure I didn't end up wasting my board because this was the only one that I had. And so I ended up having to cut a bigger, I believe, one more time. And uh, it was, the going was pretty slow, but for a $20 jigsaw, I can't complain. Reference the plastic that I'm using, the protective shield is 18 by 17 inches. This was the largest size that they could cut where I ordered from. And I will have that at the end in the description as to where I ordered it. It was not Amazon, it was a company. 
I actually can't remember, which is why I'm not saying it, because I can't remember, but I will look that up and add that. I wish now, in hindsight, I believe it was a 24 by 24 inch piece. I wish in hindsight I had left it as big as it could be, but uh, I had them cut it, and so it's a little bit smaller than my laser. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corner piece for my dryer vent for the exhaust. And I started out too small because I wasn't sure my dimensions. And then you'll see I have to go back and cut it again. It ended up being right around 5x5. Five five. The dimensions are about 4.5 inches on the dryer vent. However, I needed a little bit extra just so there was some wiggle room and it wasn't too tight. So now I'm going to cut the hole bigger so I can get the plug through for my uh, exhaust fan and uh, didn't realize how mad I looked when I was cutting. And you can see I got just a little bit distracted. See my dogs on my couch are all beat up. Final product. The plastic is 17 by 18 inches. The hole ends up being 16 by 17 inches with a half inch extra on all four sides. The length is just under 36 inches and the width is right at 24 inches, which is plenty big enough. And you can see there's plenty of room in there. This allows the air now to easily get sucked in through the vent and out through the dryer vent, or into the fan out through the dryer vent. Then I was able to make a board that went along the window and that fit just right. The hole was about five inches wide that I used my jigsaw to cut out. And the board, I believe, was about seven inches tall by the width of my window. It fit perfectly. And then I cut a hole for the cords to go through and that ended up working out just perfectly as well. So all in all, I'm pretty happy. As you can see, you certainly do not have to be a craftsman to build one of these. Anybody can do it. There's a lot of uh, room for air, but it gets the job done.